Y'all ever notice how some folks you think are in your corner be the ones throwing salt on your name? Yeah, I'm talking about frenemies. These are the sneaky snakes that smile in your face but ain't afraid to stab you in the back when it suits them. They're like those Sour Patch Kids, sweet one minute, sour the next. But let me tell you something, they ain't half as cute or amusing. Frenemies, my friends, are the epitome of bad vibes. They're that dark cloud that rains on your parade, the itch you can't quite scratch, the gum stuck to your shoe on a hot summer day. Now don't get it twisted, they ain't all doom and gloom. They come disguised as friends with their smooth talk and charming smiles, but their actions, oh, their actions tell a different story. So how do we spot these two-faced jokers in our circle? Buckle up, because we're about to dive in. First off, we got the sweet but sour frenemy. At first glance, they're all sugar, but deep down, they're just vinegar. Imagine a candy apple, right? Shiny, sweet, and enticing on the outside. But take a bite, and you're met with a sour surprise. That's your sweet but sour frenemy for you. They're the ones who'll smile in your face, but when your back's turned, they're quick to pour out that vinegar. Think about it. You got that one friend who's always got your back until they don't. They're the ones filling your ears with sweet nothings, making you feel like you're the apple of their eye. But oh boy, once they get a chance, they're spreading your secrets like wildfire. They're the ones who will be the first to compliment your new kicks, but behind closed doors, they're questioning your fashion sense, saying you got the style of a blind mole rat. And let's not forget about their knack for turning any situation into a saga about them. You could be telling them about your aunt's new cat. And somehow, it turns into a story about their third cousin, twice removed, who once had a cat that could play the piano. Yes, they're the ones who make a drama out of everything, and trust me, it ain't Broadway material. Now don't get me wrong, they ain't all bad. Heck, they might even have some redeeming qualities, maybe they can make a mean lasagna or have a killer playlist. But remember, even a rotten apple can have a shiny skin. Now, I ain't saying you gotta toss them out of your life like yesterday's trash, but you gotta be on your toes. Keep your eyes open, cause remember, not everyone who's sweet to your face has your best interests at heart. So, next time you see someone all sweet but sour, remember, they might just be a frenemy. Next on our list is the backstabbing frenemy. They're the ones who smile in your face but stab you in the back. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Picture this. You've got this buddy, right? Cool as a cucumber, always got your back. Or so you think. This is the backstabbing frenemy, my friends. They're like a chameleon in a cashmere sweater, blending in with your crew, always ready with a kind word and a helping hand. But beware, folks, that's just the veneer. Underneath, they're as prickly as a porcupine in a prickly pear patch. You ever have one of those moments where you're like, wait, how did so-and-so find out about that? Well, I'll tell you how. Your so-called friend has been spilling the beans behind your back. They're like a leaky faucet, dripping your secrets all over town. And the worst part? They do it with a smile, acting like they're doing you a favor. This type of frenemy is a master of the double cross. They'll be your biggest cheerleader one minute, then turn around and throw you under the bus the next. You ever heard the saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer? Well, with a backstabbing frenemy, you can't tell the difference. They're like a bad penny, always turning up when you least expect it. And don't get it twisted, they're not doing it out of malice. Oh no, they're just looking out for number one. They're the type to sell their grandma's dentures if they thought it would get them ahead. But here's the kicker, they're not all bad. Sometimes, they can be the best friend you ever had. They're always there when you need them always ready with a shoulder to cry on or a helping hand. But remember, that's just the facade. Underneath, they're as cold as a winter's day in the Big Apple. So if you ever feel a sharp pain in your back, don't be surprised when you turn around and see a frenemy with a knife. Last but not least, we got the jealous frenemy. They're the ones who can't stand to see you shine. Now these are the folks who, when you step into the room all decked out and looking fly, they're the ones giving you that side eye. They're the ones who see your success as their failure. When you're climbing the ladder, they're the ones trying to shake the rungs, hoping you'll stumble. Imagine it like this. You're Jay-Z, dropping hit after hit, and they're like a washed up rapper from the 90s, still trying to drop mixtapes and can't get over why they ain't making it. They're the haters, the naysayers, the folks who can't stand to see you doing better than them. They're the ones who see your new car, your new job, your new boo, 
and instead of being happy for you, they're asking why it ain't them. And let's be real, it's not just about material things. They're jealous of your happiness, your peace of mind, your self-confidence. They see you walking around with your head held high, and they're wondering why they can't feel that good about themselves. They're the ones who, when you're celebrating a win, are quick to remind you of a past failure. Oh, you got a promotion? Remember when you got fired from that other job? They're always trying to bring you down a notch. Now, I ain't saying everyone who's a little envious is a frenemy. We all feel a little green-eyed monster now and then. But the jealous frenemy, they live in that space. It's their home address. Jealousy is their bread and butter, and they spread it thick on every interaction. The thing is, they're not just hurting you. They're hurting themselves, too. They're so focused on what you have that they can't see what they got. They're living in a world of comparison. And let me tell you, that's no way to live. So next time you feel like someone's trying to dim your light, remember they might just be a jealous frenemy. All right, so we've covered the sweet but sour frenemy, the backstabbing frenemy, and the jealous frenemy. We've been through the trenches, folks, and it ain't been pretty, but hey, that's life, ain't it? First up, we had the sweet but sour frenemy. This one's like that jelly donut you get from the corner deli. All sugary and delicious on the outside, but then you bite in and bam, sour filling. They're all nice smiles and sweet words when you meet, but the moment your back is turned, they're sipping on that haterade. And trust me, ain't no one got time for that. Then we got the backstabbing frenemy. These folks are the snakes in your grass, the wolves in your sheep herd. They're all buddy-buddy in your face, but give them a chance and they'll stick a knife in your back quicker than a New York minute. It's like they've got a PhD in two-facedness. And let's not forget about the jealous frenemy. These are the ones who are always trying to outdo you, always trying to one-up you. You get a promotion, they're aiming for the CEO spot, you get a new ride, they're looking at limos. They can't stand to see you shine, so they try to outshine you. But remember, stars shine brightest in the darkest nights. Now you might be thinking, hey, I ain't got no frenemies. And to that I say, good for you. But keep your eyes peeled. These folks are crafty. They sneak in when you least expect it, like a rat in your apartment. So how do you spot these frenemies? Well, it ain't rocket science. Keep an eye on the ones who are all talk and no show. Watch out for the ones who only show up when they need something. And most importantly, trust your gut. If something feels off, it probably is. Remember, not everyone deserves a spot on your journey. You're the captain of your ship and you decide who gets to ride with you. So don't let these frenemies steer you off course. In the words of the great Biggie Smalls, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. But hey, who needs enemies when you've got frenemies, right? And that's the lowdown on frenemies, folks. Now, I ain't saying you gotta go all Sherlock Holmes on your circle, but a little vigilance never hurt nobody. After all, you're the star of your own show, and you don't need no supporting actors bringing you down. Peace out, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. Check out our other videos for more real talk. And remember, keep your circle tight and your vision clear. Ain't no frenemy got time for that.